Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 45 minute at home full upper body workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells. Whatever you have, grab them because we do have a drop sets coming your way. For resistance reference, I do have a pair of 25, 15, 10, and five pound dumbbells. You will also need a mat if you're performing this workout on a hard surface. You will also need a mini band. We're gonna use this mini band at the very beginning for our third exercise of that tricep, and then at the very, very end. Make sure that mini band is light, and if you don't have one, you can either perform it with body weight only or light set of dumbbells. For the very last tricep, we are going to be using that mini band, and I'd like for you to be near a wall. It doesn't, you don't have to be near a wall. Fair warning, we have spider crawls coming, but it just makes it more, more fun. Here's today's format. We have tri drop sets. So we have tri sets in the form of drop sets. So we're pairing three exercises at a time. We will perform each tri set twice. The first two exercises of each tri set will be performed for 60 seconds each. After that second exercise, we will drop the exercise in terms of intensity and or weight selection. And we'll perform that third exercise for 75 seconds. After that third exercise is up, 15 seconds to recover. And then we repeat that again, but we're cutting the time in half. So for round two, we repeat, we're trying to match, but we're cutting the time in half to 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and then 45 seconds. Now I will tell you what weight selection selection I am using, but just know that you and I are different. So I want you to find a weight selection that feels challenging for you while maintaining really great form. If you're matching what I'm doing and it's not challenging enough, I challenge you to up your weight selection and vice versa. If I'm using something and you feel that your form is slipping or you're feeling it in places where we don't want to feel it, drop your weight selection. Ultimately, you control the intensity with the resistance that you use. Another thing that I want to note, every exercise is timed, so you and I do not have to go at the same speed, same, same tempo. I will be cueing. Some of these exercises will have very slow eccentric or lengthening or lowering phases, so I would like you to stick with that. So just be on the, the lookout or <laughs> the audio cue for the tempo changes throughout this workout. Typically, that first round, we're going to have a very slow eccentric or slow lowering phase, which will make the exercise feel more challenging. And then during the second round, that shorter round will go normal tempo typically. So enough of me talking, go ahead, grab all your things, meet me on your mat in a side plank position. We'll start in a modified uh, position for our warm up tricep and let's get to work. We're going to begin your workout in a modified side plank position. We have a side plank rear delt fly. So come on to your side plank position. Bottom knee will support you. Grab the dumbbell. I have five pounds handy. Bring it back. I want you to squeeze the back of that delt and then bring it right back down. This is where we'll start. And then if you want to advance, you can lift that leg. You can stack it. All right. We have left, right, and then we'll grab that mini band for some supermans. We begin your workout side plank reverse fly in three, two, and one. Slow and controlled eccentric. So squeeze it up. Three, two, slight rotation on the way down. Bring it up. Squeeze the back of the delt. Three, two, one. Today's focus, upper body. But I want you to take this first round slow and controlled. I want you to feel that muscle move the weight, all right? We're not just throwing the weights around. We're moving the weight with intent. So feel the back of the shoulder. Squeeze it up here. Now control it down. Three, two, one. Good. That bottom knee is supposed to be down. Whoops, I got a little ahead of myself. By all means, you can start there. But this is our, our first tricep, so just take it, take it mindfully. Release that bottom knee if needed. Just match with what you do on this side. On the other side, in 10 seconds, we'll switch. I'm gonna flip it around so you can see my face. Last three, two, and one. Let's switch it. Other side, get set, bring it up, squeeze the back of the delt, control it for three, two, and one.
Next up, we have Superman. So you'll come to your belly, place your mini band, or you can do this body weight mini band around the wrist, above or below your watch. I'm gonna remove my mic. Keep the neck in a neutral position. Lift up, press against the band, and then bring it down. Lift up, press against the band, bring it down. So we're working your back here, we're working your delts here, and your shoulders may start to burn. Take it slow, take it controlled, really pause at the top, squeeze here, squeeze the back of the delts, control it down. Last three, two, and one, 15 seconds to recover. We repeat that same tricep. This time, we cut the time in half. If you can, release the bottom knee, and let's go. Normal tempo this round. Normal tempo, wrap it out. But I still want you to feel it where we were feeling it during round one. Switch sides in three, two, and one other side. Go to Superman's in three, two, and one. Superman's 45 seconds. Place that band around the wrist, get set, and then go. Last three, two, and one. A nice work, I'm going to adjust my mic real quick. We have chest presses next. I'll be using 25s. Go ahead, grab your heavier weight selection. Elbows will be at a 45 degree angle. So not in tight, not out, somewhere in between. Now press it up, control it down for three, two, and one. Press it up, control it down, three, two, and one. If you would keep me waiting, I would wait a lifetime. In tricky situations, I will be a lifeline. Nobody's meant to be fighting alone. That's why I'm taking you home. I never felt something like this before, I know. Keep coming back for your time after time. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I know I'll never leave you behind. No. Next up, we have tricep extensions in the supine position. We release one of these dumbbells and we'll grab the dumbbell with both hands. So release one dumbbell, grab the dumbbell, the outside of the dumbbell with both hands. From here, bend at the elbows and then bring it up. Bend at the elbows. Nice, slow and controlled tempo.
By all means, you can also grab two lighter dumbbells. If this is an uncomfortable grip for you, go ahead and switch it. Next up, we have dumbbell chest flies. I'll be dropping to 10 pounds. In three, two, and one. Drop your weight selection. Neutral grip, palms face one another. Now wide, 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 like you're going in for a hug. And then hug it in. So three, two, long lever, pause here, hug it back in. Three, two, one, big stretch along the chest and the front of the delts, squeeze it back in. So there's a slight bend in your elbows, but you're not hinging from the elbows anymore. Keep it long, that's why we've dropped the weight selection. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. We have that again, but this time, 30, 30, 45. Here we go, chest press. Let's get it. Normal tempo this round. Drop that weight in three, two, one weight goes down. Normal tempo with these tricep extensions, but I want you to control it. Drop the weight, chest flies in three, two, and one. Normal tempo, but maintain that pause right here during the lengthen state. Pause, now squeeze it in. Pause, squeeze it in. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Next up, we have thrusters with a slow eccentric on your left side first. Neutral grip. Use the lower body to drive that dumbbell up. Control it down for three, two, one. Lower body helps to drive it up. Three, two, one. Core stays tight to help stabilize.
switch sides in three, two, and one other side. Maintain that slow, look slow, eccentric. Three, two, one. Core stays tight. Next up, we'll drop the weight selection. We have bicep curls to Arnold presses. I'm dropping to 15s. In three, two, and one. Take your time, grab your weight selection. This is a longer round. Start with a neutral grip. We flip to supinated on the bicep curl. Now flip it again on the press. Bring it down with control. So curl, press. Control, 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 control. Control it. Last three, two, and one. Wow. All right, short round coming your way. That was tough. This time, normal tempo. Normal tempo on the thrusters, normal tempo on the curl to Arnold press. 30 seconds on these thrusters. We got this. Same weight. Let's go. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Drop the weight selection in three, two, and one. Curl to Arnold Press. Normal tempo once we get set. Last three, two, and one. All right, on to some back work. Neutral row, left side, then right side, and then we'll drop the weight selection for some rear delt flies. I'll be using 25s. So my left side first, right foot forward. Stagger stance, bring it up towards the hip. Three, two, one. Backing up. Three, two, one. Try not to rotate open. Core stays tight. You can always use this offhand to help brace yourself. Back 
Switch sides in three, two, and one other side. Rear delt fly is next. Hip hinge position. I'm dropping to tens in three, two, and one. Drop your weight selection. From here, keep the core tight. Hinge from the hips. Hips go back. Palms face one another. Three, two, one. Last three, two, and one. Wow. 15 second recovery. We cut the rounds in half and then we get a longer break after this tricep. Normal tempo this round. Here we go. Left side first. Let's do it. Squeeze the lat. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Switch sides and then go. Rear delt flies, I'm using fives. Let's go, I had to drop last round. And that's, that's okay. If you feel your form start to slip or you feel like your range of motion is just not where it should be, drop the weight. Mid round, you're not committed to it. Change it out if needed. Back of the delts, normal tempo. I know it's burning. Come on, 15 seconds, and we get a longer recovery after this, this exercise. Final 10. Last three, two, and one. Wow. Longer recovery. Take a drink, towel off, gain your composure, because clean depresses are next.
All right, let's start to get into position. We have a cling to press next. I'll be using 25s. We'll go left side, then right. Then we drop the weight selection. Here we go. So it's an upright row. Flip the grip at the very last second. Use the lower body to drive it up. Control, 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 control. Lower body helps to drive it up. Lower body helps to drive it up. Control, 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 control. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Upright row, so shoulder press is next. I'm grabbing tens. Here we go, we have a little external rotation as well. So go light, five to 10 pounds here. I may have to drop. Here we go, upright row, flip it, press, control, flip it back, control it down. Upright row, flip it, press it, control it, flip it back, control it. Keep those upper traps down as you go into that upright row, as you flip it, and as you raise it. The tendency is to want to shrug up. Just be mindful of that. Last three, two, and one. Wow, 30 second round. Coming up next, let's try to match our weight. Again, of course, of course, adjust if needed. If you felt your form start to slip, adjust it. Here we go, clean to press, normal tempo. Use the legs to drive it up. Use the legs to drive it up again, bring it down. Other side in three, two, and one. We drop the weight, upright row to a press in three, two, and one. Normal tempo, but I still want you to control it. Bye. 
Last three, two, and one. All right, next up we have a triple drop. So I'll be using 15s, 10s, and then five. So just make sure your dumbbells are around. Poliquin lateral raise is up first. I'll be using 15s. Neutral grip, we curl it up. Elbows out. Wide, three, two, one. Wow, okay. Curl it, out, control it, down. Front raises are next. I'm gonna drop it to tens. In three, two, and one. Here we go. Grab your weight. Get set first. It's okay if that timer started. We have we have two rounds. Here we go. Flip it from neutral to pronated. Control it down. Up next, we have Lou raises. I'm gonna drop to fives. Last rep, three, two, and one. Drop the weight, shake it out, wow. Flip the grip, palms face away. Keep the shoulders down as we bring it up to a semicircle. Control it for three, two, one. Last rep. Last three, two, one. We're out. Recover. 30 seconds. Shorter round is next. Normal tempo. Here we go. If needed, drop the weight. I may have to. We'll see. Front raises, here we go, in three, two, and one. I'm gonna go ahead and drop to fives. My form is starting to slip. If you can hold on to it, hold on to it. Normal tempo. Blue raises in three, two, and one, 45 seconds.
three, two, one. Move your dumbbells out of the way. Body weight only this next block. Flowy centric, elbows out. Angle, so have those elbows out at about 45 degrees, not in, not out, just somewhere in between, and let's go. Get into your high plank position, core stays tight. Take it down for three, two, one, and then press it back up. Really control that eccentric or lowering phase. If needed, you can release the knees as an option or modification. Coming up next, we have high to low planks. I'm going to release my knees to start in three, two, and one. We take it down right forearm, left forearm. Then we bring it up right hand, left. Next time through, switch sides. Go left, right, left, right. We're working on anti-rotation of the hips. So keep your core really tight and try to keep your hips as stable and still as possible. Hold your high plank position in three, two, one. Now we tap left and right. Last three, two, and wow, one. 30 second round is next. So we, we have that to be happy about. 30, 30, 45. We got this. Rest, pause if needed, y'all. Arms are starting to feel like jello. Mini band is what we end with. Here we go, push ups, normal tempo, down and up. Option, release the knees. High to low plank, let's go. Plank shoulder taps in three, two, wow, and one. Start on the knees, and then once I feel like I can do it, knees are coming off. Here we go. Final 30 seconds. Try to extend those knees into your full plank. Excuse me, just lift them off. 
Let's do it. 30 seconds. You got this. Last three, two, and one. Final tricep. Grab your mini band, place it around your wrist. Wow. Okay, if you have a wall nearby, grab your wall. If you don't grab your, you can't grab your wall. Wow. Okay, so press against the band, pretend the wall is in front of me, and now we're gonna take it up and then take it down. Here's what it would look like on the wall. Just kind of crawling up the wall, hence the name spider crawls. You're pressing into the band as you go up the wall and as you travel down the wall. But you don't need the wall. So if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Next up, rear delt flies. Here we go. You can have it around your wrist, but I'm gonna grab it with my thumbs, right, right around chin level, and then go down, bring it up. Down, bring it up and shake it out if needed. So just a little high to low reverse fly. Squeeze the back of the delts, bring it in. Squeeze, control it in. This is our burnout. I've used this as a warm up before, but it can also be a burnout. So just control it, make that connection. What muscle group are we working? You're gonna feel it in the entire shoulder, but try to squeeze the back of the shoulder. Next up, we have lateral raise partials. Place the band back around the wrist in three, two, one band goes around the wrist. Now, depending on how heavy your band is, will depend on how high you can take it. So take it out. Once you feel that start to happen, you've gone too far. So just take it down a notch and then bring it back in. Keep tension on the band. Bring it out, pause, control it down. Bring it out, pause, control it down. I want you to make that connection to the side of the delt. So tap it. Say, come on, let's work. Squeeze, control it, squeeze control it. You're not losing tension right here. Keep the tension here. Hands are staying slightly in front of the body. So if you're feeling it more in the upper traps, you may be just taking it out here too far. Play around with it. Everyone's different. We're going to feel it different ways. So just one little small change or just one little small tweak can really impact where you feel it. Last three, two, and one. Final round, y'all. Final round, 30, 30, 45, normal tempo. Rep it out, squeeze those muscles. Here we go, we got spider crawls. If you have a wall, face that wall. Tension on the band, four up, four down. Let's do it. Feeling it more in the delts on the way up. Feeling it more in the back on the way down. High to low, rear delt flies are next. Normal tempo. It can stay around the wrist or you can grab it with the thumbs. Up to you. Just rep it out.
lateral raise partials in three, two, one, band around the wrist. Here we go, normal tempo. Everything is on fire in your shoulders, 15 seconds, and then we have a hold. This is what we're ending with, y'all. We got this, come on. Hold at the top in three, two, one. Hold and squeeze, 15 seconds. Press against that band. Come on, final five, four, three, Two and lower slowly. We are time for some stretching. All right, let's go to our wall if you have one. If not, you can perform this on your mat, lying down on your belly and just rotate open. For a deeper stretch, just walk it in closer to the wall and then rotate a little bit more. Stay here, breathe through it. Now, if you want a little bit more, come back in, bend at the elbow and then do the same thing. This is gonna give you a big stretch along the chest and into the front of the delt. And if you're wondering why <laughs> it all switched, my camera died as soon as the workout was over. So good timing, bad timing, but we got the workout in. Now we're just back for some stretching, just a little cool down. I'll also, let's do the other side. I'll also link some additional sh quick stretching videos below in the description. So be sure to check that out. Breathe through it. If you want a little bit more, bend and just open up. One more big deep inhale. And on the exhale, face me, inhale, arms up, and then bend at one elbow, little tricep stretch, side body. You can also cross right here, open up. And let's take it to the other side. Inhale up to center, go back to your wall. Sorry for the view, but I want you to make your shape, your body into a 90 degree position. So hinge from the hips, hands on the wall, and then let the chest melt. So I'm gonna kind of use this table for reference. I just want you to get that stretch along your lats. You will also feel it in the back of the hamstrings. You can do this on a wall, you can do this on a table. Just let that chest melt and feel the stretch. One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, don't bring your table with you, bring it on up. Inhale, arms reach overhead on the exhale, open up, open the chest, shoulder blades draw together. Let's do that again, inhale up. On the exhale, draw opposite shoulder blade towards opposite hip, open up. One more time, inhale up. And on the exhale, open. As long as you tried your best, that's what matters most. Again, I'm going to link some additional stretching if your body's craving a little bit more below in the description. Check it out. They're super quick. They're very focused as well. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Your love and support means the absolute world to me. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. Be sure to tag me in your posts and stories on IG at Laurie Midkiff, Facebook Fit by Laurie. And most importantly, remember, you rock. Have an amazing rest of the day, friends.